Uh, and we're live. Hey, we're live. We are live. Hey, boys. Happy Gentlemen. Saturday. Happy Saturday. A Happy special Saturday. afternoon edition. It's a whiskey Saturday. Yeah. I like, I like whiskey Saturdays. Saturday. So you know what? Let's roll our credits, and then we could uh, give give our uh, get or you know give our viewers the rundown as to what's going on this afternoon. So we got a special okay. show. Yes, we do. Hang on one yep. sec. Back in thirty seconds. Welcome to the murder table. Cheers. Salud. Oh, cheers. No, cheers. 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 Slunch. A capirinha. Like a martinelli, as you said, with a cake. You do a little swirl. A little swirl. Or zat. Or zat. Appetizer? Appetizer. Appetizer. That makes me sad, but you know what makes me happy? Whiskey. Cacao. Cacao. <laughs> Cacao. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's everything I thought it would be and, and less smelly. What? Hey, 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 boys. We, we really got to put that on the shirt. Everything we I do. thought it would be <laughs> less smelly. Yeah, Billboards, <laughs> t-shirts. How about, why don't we get the New Jersey State flag? Oh, <laughs> How about that? Do you, do you know someone that can do that? Sure. I, I got. I think I've got. I've, I'm like three sep, three degrees of separation from the governor's office. And we know Mark sure, Gillespie. We are. I think we could do this. Gillespie could do it for us. I'm sure. Yes, we can. We could do it. So anyway, He's got the power. He does yes, have he does. the power. Of the Give draft. us the rundown, Aaron. What do we got going on today? Well, we have a great, great show today. I think uh, we're we're going across the, uh, the 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 waters again to the UK, and we're going to be talking to a couple uh, ladies from Elixir. Uh, spirits, elixir distillers, distillers. and uh, we really are excited about these folks. I know one of them from here in Los Angeles, and we've talked to Julie, I think, in a couple, and the other lady, Julie, in another couple of Zoom venues. So uh, we're really excited about talking to them and about a few different whiskeys that they've got. So uh, why don't we uh, roll them and bring it in? Okie dokie, let's do that. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. <laughs> that was amazing. That was, that was, that was like a, a big box office smash. That was you know, cinematic that was genius. You, you know what it was? It was, a, it was a Merchant Ivory production. <laughs> and we, we, so. we can save it for your funerals, too. Uh, it, oh, it doubles. It's you. really nice. Movie twice. Yes, exactly. Let's well, move some things around here first. Hang on a second here. We, we are we are more? we are welcoming two really wonderful people. We're welcoming Julie Hamilton, who is the uh, brand ambassador for Elixir, and we're also welcoming Chanel LaCory, who's the international sales manager for this uh, for Elixir. Hi, Welcome. ladies. Hello, going, guys. Welcome to the nonsense. So, Chanel, you are in. Where are I'm you right in, now? I'm in London. In, in London. London. And Julie, you are. I'm in Glasgow. Oh, look at that. We are in all over the world. I'm in Los Angeles. <laughs> Where are you boys? The great state of New Jersey. New Jersey. And you guys are all, all of like 25 yards apart. Well, not today. <laughs> today, today we are 90 miles today, apart. I've gone, I've gone to the beach. So oh, man. That's nice. They have microwaves, got microwaves on the beach. The beach. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. New Jersey. Well, cool. I'm not actually ever on the beach. That's bad. I, I, I would burn like bacon. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much Irish here. We can't go to the beach. And you can't burn <laughs> like sunlight. bacon. And you can't burn like bacon in the UK. That's for sure. He's crispy. That's not true. That's not true, man. Oh, sorry. Not true. Come on. You can? The sun, but no one's prepared for the sun, as I've found out. So, Got it. <laughs> no, so okay. thank you guys for coming on. Uh, we're excited to talk to you guys. Um, so I think first we want to talk about you two and and find out where you guys came from, how you got to the, the spirits world. Um, Julie, why don't you tell us your little backstory and and maybe. What your what what whiskey is like? Why is it so important to you? And, and saying your mom and dad is not the right answer. That is not the right answer. <laughs> You'll be jettisoned out like in two seconds. No problem. Got it. Um, so I I'm a bit of a latecomer into actually working in the whiskey industry. I've been around more the whiskey than the other side of things for a while. So I was one of the founding members of Glasgow's Whiskey Club when we first started. Oh. That was about 16 years ago now. 
um, there was nothing like that in Glasgow at the time and my friend was talking to me about it and he reckoned that we could get something going. So we put a, a notice up in a whisky bar and, uh, and we had eight people. And um, tonight the guys are running the fifth virtual whisky club um, Saturday night. So we always do the last Tuesday of the month, but now that we're locked down, it's the last Saturday of the month. So they're actually, as we speak, they're, um, they're online coming. But um, yeah, and then I am one of the directors of Glasgow's Whiskey Festival as well. So we've been going for, this would have been our 11th year, but we've had to cancel it, unfortunately, due to the fact that it would involve a big crowd. Um, so yeah, involved in things like that. And I was a brand ambassador for Scotch Malt Whiskey Society as well for a number of years. All the while, I was full-time working with Glasgow City Council Education Services. I was there for, I'll say over 20 years, and we'll just leave it at that. I was there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then this opportunity to, to come and work with Elixir Distillers was a year past in February, where I freelanced for them for four months, and then they took me on, they offered me a full-time job, and that's it. I've not looked back since. And I've not worked a single day since because that old adage about if you find a job you love, you'll never work another day is absolutely true. There you go. So, so yeah, and here I am. Yeah. And look, you're in the big time right now with us. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah. Finally <laughs> made it. Finally made it. <laughs> wow. She's really <laughs> moving. <laughs> moving and shaking. Chanel, your turn. Hey, uh, yeah. I started my career in the industry as a bartender in New Zealand. Uh, that's where I, I like to say I hail from, though it is a little bit American, a little bit a bit Kiwi. Um, I was a bartender for 17 years, something like that. Ooh. But I'd go work for brands as well. So I had a bit of a stint with Perno Ricard, which is, um, you know, my first foray into having to sell Chivas and Jameson and, you know, all their all their portfolio. Um, moved on from there to work for um, another big boy, so worked for Bacardi and, and headed up doers for Melbourne and uh, for well for Vic, what we'd call Victoria and Tasmania for um, Australia as a brand ambassador, and got to talk about whiskey all the time, which was kind of cool. That's fun. I kind of got a taste for it, I'll be honest, um, and went and worked for a whiskey bar called Eau de Vie in Melbourne, and we had about 500 whiskeys in the back bar, so... That was fun. Um, and from that knowledge, like we had an amazing training program and, and from that knowledge, um, I got my, my follow on job, which, which was how Aaron, how you know me, which is uh, with another independent bottler called that Boutique Whiskey Company, um, where they uh, sent me out to the States to become the brand ambassador for, for the States, for Boutique. And then from there, um, I met Ollie Chilton, who is our blender. And he asked me if I wanted a job in London. <laughs> and I said, well, things in New York are looking a little patchy. Um, that sounds rather nice. And he, he got me over there right before lockdown, uh, three days before lockdown to London. Nice. And so I've been here ever since. So you guys yeah. come from totally different areas. Yeah. yeah. Janelle, you were a bartender. I was. And Julie, yeah. you're just, you were just were a, a fan of whiskey with a club. Yeah. So you guys yeah. are coming at it from different places. Whiskey Absolutely. scene first. Yeah. But we have a lot in common, yeah. just because we can talk about whiskey. <laughs> well, no, that's well, that's, it, absolutely. I, I think it's interesting because you know, from the, you're from one side of the bar and the other side of the bar, and now you're on the same side of the building, I guess. Um, you, you know, guys we've have never a... met each other, right? What? Really? You have <laughs> never met each other. Really? Well, because we've been yeah. in lockdown. Oh, that's true. Oh, oh yeah. 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 But you so I have no idea her. how tall she is. No <laughs> <laughs> we keep talking about that and saying we could be telling it's each other lies. She's this tall. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can't travel even within the UK? Yeah. No. Wow. Well, you can to an extent, but we're kind of restricted in that I can't stay overnight anywhere. So for me to go down to London, I need to be able to do it in a day. And I'm a wee bit BA about the whole thing and not getting any any damn plane, to be fair. So yeah. I, I don't want to go. That's crazy. So, so yeah. Chanel, do you work out, well, 
both you guys, do you guys work out of offices or your homes or? Home. Yeah. Home. So uh, about a month ago, I think they let us back into the office. So I do, I do two, two days a week in the office and then the rest is at home. So I got wow. to meet some of the team <laughs> about a month ago. And I assume. Ordinarily, ordinarily I work from home, but I'm in the office for one week in every month. So it's normally around about the last week in the month I go down and spend a week in the office and cram in as much as I can in London before I come back up here. So yeah, I've just not been able to do that. So and I assume your jobs usually would require travel. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on a minute, guys. I've just realized. Do you not have a dram in front of you? I, I, I do. do. Well, I have a port. in front of me. Yeah, Pick it. one. I have. A, I'm so ready. So we start with Portis Gig Eight. Portis Gig Eight. Wow, I don't have the eight, but I have the twelve. What if? Well, twelve. Or should I do the one ten? We're we're playing a bit of dram roulette tonight, guys. What we're doing then? Depending do the on the one ten. got the one ten. What UPS sent you? <laughs> UPS, FedEx. I don't know. <laughs> FedEx was a tease yesterday. DHL. FedEx was a big tease yesterday. I was very disappointed in that. They kept telling you they were coming. They it's never... coming. It's coming. It's coming. Now it's pending. I was like, all right, fine. Oh. Hey, That's we're okay. all pending. We're doing the one ten, yeah. Yeah, I got the one ten. One ten. Okay. We like it because there's fives in it. We only have five. Double fives. And cheers. Ridiculously, I have the same as you because this this was in shortage in our office, so I've only got a little mini of it. <laughs> that was also DHL to me yesterday, <laughs> so that I had it in time. Thank yeah. you, ladies. Slanja. Slanja. Oh, and, and I've got the appropriate glassware. Nice. Me too. Hey, me too. Okay. I don't have that glassware. your glassware. I don't have them. <laughs> it's appropriate. It's good. See, my glassware is actually advertising Scotch whiskey auctions. Oh. <laughs> Hey, this is you can name drop, Aaron. You can get one in. How's Jess Lohman? <laughs> <laughs> she's doing. She's Boom, not well. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> she's doing well. I saw her just recently. She's a person that I am able to see because we're both in Glasgow. So I was ah, at the other week. Yeah. We love Jess. Yeah. This is delicious. We like. It just it. smells. It it smells fantastic. fantastic. Now we don't. Do we know that the story is it? We know it's Isla. Which one do you think it is? I don't know. I mean, well, we're, we're thinking Kalila. <laughs> one of eight. One of eight. No, that's, that's a good chance. I think it's a C or a B. A C or a B? Yeah. I think it's C. Mm. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, who cares? It's poor that's gag. That's all we know. So good. <laughs> that's all the Mr. Angelo, so good. Mm-hmm. It is absolutely bang on. This is a C. This is a C. You, you dragged so, me into Pete. We did. We yep. dragged him kicking and screaming. He didn't know what that was. <laughs> and now he's a real captive audience. So, you know, it wasn't kicking or screaming so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just kicking. We hate the screaming. So, you mentioned <laughs> Chanel, you mentioned uh, one of our favorite people, Ollie. Oh, yes, Mr. Yeah. Chilton. So maybe talk about Ollie for a moment and, and his whole uh, philosophy <laughs> on, hey, she <laughs> said it first. <laughs> if they mention it, it's okay. Yeah, if you boss. mention it, it's a name drop. You <laughs> mentioned she was one of your favorite people. Hey, look at my shirt. Look at my shirt. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there. Oh, nice. It's a C. Nice. Where's Portis nice for the C. <laughs> it's not a distillery yet. So... Let's talk Ollie and, and Port Eskeg and the whole philosophy behind the brand. Okay. Well, as I mean, Julie, you can probably jump in here. I think one of the things that I find really interesting about uh, how Ollie, well, basically how Ollie chooses the cast that go into this from Kalila, he, he does it in a very uh, specific way. He, it's 50 to 60 casks. Is that right? Yep. Um, and that's because that's how much it, uh, like one container takes. <laughs> oh, okay. That's 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 the that's science the magic. behind it, guys. Right. Is it's cheaper for that than him trying to take one and a half ca containers or anything right. like that? So it has yep. to go to f in fifty or fifty Yeah. And then he's worked out he can do that fifty in an hour and a half, like taste from that fifty. Wow. What? Wow. Jeez, that's crazy. Then he'll have a sandwich. And do another 50 oh. or 60. 
I'm hungry sandwich, now. Sandwich, a cup of tea, and, and some tonics, and then he'll do his other 60. <laughs> wow. And, and it's basically worked off of a three-tick system of like, mm, no, try, try again. Uh, yeah. Yes, good, or outstanding. That needs to go somewhere else and, and maybe be its own single cask or something right. a bit more special. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There are, wow. Occasions, there are occasions that barrels get rolled out of the line to be kept by for single casks so. So do you or guys have, have as well. you guys have a warehouse in Glasgow to store casks? Um, no, don't we, don't, we, we don't have a warehouse of our own. So the, the casks are stored. Essentially, the casks are stored where we buy them, really, aren't they? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, they stay in the distillery so, warehouse. We, uh, we have, okay. That's why he does it all like in the one go. Yeah. So it's all shipped to the, the place where we do all the bottling. So they vat and bottle in the same place. And uh, yeah, so Ollie, Ollie travels up and goes there and tastes as many casts as he can in a day <laughs> and gets through it. But I can vouch I was um, part of the the spring edition of the 12 year old that was, it's just 18 casts though. So I was about amateurish. I was just, I'll oh, 18. He goes up to 50 or 60. But just as you say, it's, yeah, whatever it takes. It kind of knocks the romance out, it doesn't it, when we tell you that it's, <laughs> that it's how oh. much. And a container. <laughs> when, it, when, it, hey. when it gets to cask 45, does he have any idea what he's doing? He doesn't even know his name anymore. I just, his palate's I, insane. I just don't know. His palate's insane. Is that like a tasty kit? Insane. Does he yeah. essentially set up camp in the warehouse? <laughs> well, well, the whole reason I think he does it that way is so we can fly in and fly back out that night. Yeah. Oh. So he doesn't yeah. have to pay for a hotel. Oh, oh. <laughs> are you saying something about him being? Sc oh, he's not Scottish. He's no, he's, no, he's, he's not Scottish. He's Yorkshire, which is even worse than Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the program, I would like to disavow the last series of comments. <laughs> That's not me. Cards and letters, Gilo, or perhaps our guests. <laughs> Telling you, Yorkshiremen are tighter than Scotsmen. They will tell you that themselves. He's proud of it. He says it with like oh, yeah. this pride of like, "I'm cheap." <laughs> <laughs> I respect that <laughs> because the only thing you should really hoard is money. That's Everything right. else whiskey. Or whiskey and whiskey. Well, no, you share the whiskey. whiskey. He's He's being drink whiskey generous with the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, be generous with it. Don't yeah. share, share, yeah. Mister Mike, Mister Under the House. I should probably mention too with the 110, this is US only. Oh, really? Right? So the 55% hmm. 110, a uh, Portis Guide 110, is for the states because oh. you guys do proof. You know, right. This is the one we American have. American wise. Right. Okay. Oh, so you guys we do have 100 proof, proof yeah. which is 57.1%. Right. Yeah. Because Imperial. Yep. I got you. Because sure, let's not have a national, a unified world standard. Oh, no. Can and we then just Europe make it all different metric? Too. Yeah. Let's just yes, gum up the work some more. <laughs> Absolutely, let's keep it interesting. Keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> so, do you guys just to throw you out? Do you guys see differences in because there's different years of this, right? Every year, this it changes a little different modeling. Do you guys see differences in in the 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 one tens or the one hundreds in your case? Uh, from your different year. years? Yeah, I, a little bit. Hey. I, I think I think if you were to line them up and taste them, you know, focused, taste them together, then I think, yeah, you would find, you would find like kind of nuanced differences. In yeah, there. some subtle but differences. In, in it's, fairness, not, it's not big, if, it's little. Right? If, you, if you took something like Glenlivet 12 and did the same thing over a period yeah. of years, you'd get Yeah, absolutely. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. But Ollie's goal is to make it similar. He, it's, it's to make it, thing, yeah. it, it, and it's to uh, sort of bring out the Kalilaness, the distillate. Yep, that's what he. There's wants nothing to like the Kalila distillate. Yummy, uh, yummy, yummy. It is good. Oh, it is yeah. good. Oh my Salad. gosh, we are we are Kalila people. Big fans. Big fans. So, you said someone said this earlier. I think about are, aren't you guys? Is an elixir um, building a distillery or going to build yeah. a distillery on Isla? Yeah. Near Port Aske, right? Yeah. So, uh, no, 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 it's not not near Port Aske. It's the opposite end of the island. It's down in the south. Past, isn't it past Lagavulin? Past, <coughs> oh, it's, oh, okay. It's, <coughs> it's, 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 
as you as you come through Port Ellen, going out on the road towards the the South Distilleries, it will be when it's built. It will be the first one that you come to. Ah, on that road. Nice. Yeah. So, how so, do they expect that? When do they expect that to happen? <laughs> now with all this, pushed everything back. I'm sure. I'm just, 2022, I'm maybe or. Just going to say Isla time. You have to factor in Isla time <laughs> in all of this. So that kind of, um, it's yeah. It, it hopefully, hopefully, once they get going, it'll be it'll be fairly fast. And and what's the name of it? Does it have a name yet? Not yet. Not yet. I, I go for the Julie Chanel Distillery. Of course, has quite the ring well, to it. Oh the Would land. you be running another contest offering cans of tuna? <laughs> oh, that's a great <laughs> idea. I right. love that. It was it was a cheap competition. competition. This, this is like two cans of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Why not some Scottish salmon? Ooh, but some oh. thin Scottish salmon. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right. This I say make it as unpronounceable as possible. Well, the, the land that, that Sukinder has purchased is called Farkin. And with a glass of That's Farkin unbelievable. I just think that, you know, oh. they're missing a trick. Oh. We just, uh, oh, we could run for miles with that. that <laughs> <laughs> another bottle of Farkin whiskey. That's another, an, another Farkin whiskey. Absolutely. <laughs> Apparently, it, sell, no it sells itself, really. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Like yeah. You won't even, uh, you'll be out of jobs. You won't even need to be there. Right. They won't even need us. They won't even need us. <laughs> Just fly out. <laughs> so yeah, is that, is that, is it how, where are we on that process? Are they still like getting permits and they've got the land, of course. Are they? It's just final plans. Wow. It's crazy. When it, remember, it wasn't that long ago that there weren't very many distilleries there and now they're popping up like, like roadkill. Yeah, I guess so. With Ardenho, mm -hmm. right? And Would then they be popping up like Roadkill? Does Roadkill pop up? <laughs> it doesn't really. It's flat. It's like yeah. it? <laughs> it goes the other way. It gets hit and yeah, boom. <laughs> it depends how fast you hit it. You know? Right. <laughs> Some parts it's on there's, it. there's only people to hit there. There's no, uh, there's no real road. There's no animals really there. Except sheep and cows. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I really like this. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Distillery cats, Stillery cats. Stillery cats. Yes. and dogs. Mm -hmm. It's really and good. Eggs. Mm. So we're gonna move on to a different whiskey in a sec. Um, elixir's crazy because I, I, it's, it's like this thing with all these tentacles, right? All these brands. It's like bigger, yeah. bigger than you think, right? It's. It's the Whiskey Exchange, it's Port Askig, it's Elements of Isla. Yeah, so, so what is the parent company? Is the parent company Elixir or is it Whiskey Exchange or are they separate entities? The whiskey, the, the booze business is just, it's just crazy. Yeah. It's very incestuous. It's the Whiskey Exchange is the, is the overarching company, but our company sits separately to it. So we're the independent bottling leg, if you like, of okay. the exchange. Um, so... Elixir Distillers isn't what the whiskey exchange side of thing is, the online and the, the shops and the, the online shopping and things like that. Elixir Distillers is we cover Port Escape, Elements of Isla and Single Malts of Scotland. And also we've recently introduced Black Tot Rum as well. And the Black Tot is quite delicious. That's a nice introduction. That was very good. Yeah. Oh, yes, you guys did that at like three in the morning over yeah. here. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that poor, oh, that poor guy, that guy, he was... Yeah, he really. Uh, That's our soldier. Karizawa. Yeah, and then you have a tequila line, don't? Isn't there? Uh, we well? we have a license for Tapatio. Tapatio, yeah. Okay. Everywhere except North America. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so is does Ollie? He's the he's the the, the taster, the, the blender for all of these. Yes. Yeah. Everything. Yes. The whole. My I God. said the tapatio. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't get to taste tapatio. Unless oh he's <laughs> I can't oh. imagine how much tasting he does <laughs> yeah. to, for all oh. those bottlings. It's amazing. It's not but he barely he has a sandwich and some tea, and then it's okay. So. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You're only that, yeah, the tea with the sandwich that makes it all good. Yeah. Yes, uh, but then, yeah. then you're also we're also doing single casks, right? And we're doing we're doing special casks for customers or right. markets and things like that. And he does those as well. 
Yeah, we've got the whiskey too as well. Yeah. So that's, single malt yeah. in Scotland is, is a lot of single casks. And right. he needs an apprentice from America. Well, I'm in. I'm in. I think you've been beaten to the punch. Well, yeah, you know, you you're closer also. Yeah, she's so closer. So that helped proximity. It's like um, what was that movie? Oh, remember Bronx Tale, Mike? Availability. Yes. Yes. You know, you want to keep it close? Well, yep. Ju- uh, Chanel is much more, close. Chanel and Julie are much more available than us, right? Yes, we are geographically uh, unavailable. undesirable. Yeah. Yes. Story of my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been undesirable for a lot more than geographic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we going to on the whiskey step? We go into where? Eight? Or we don't, you guys don't have eight. No. You want to do, the, you want to do the, uh, the, the 12? We have the autumn. Oh, yeah, and I guess spring. We have the autumn. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Play a little Vivaldi. Put a little right, Vivaldi in the background. Is that what I have? Do we not know? Is this green because it's not labeled? Is it? Does it smell bourbon? bourbon no, that, that must be the spring. I think that is this so thing. Yeah, we would. I'll tell have you what, I'll drink, I'll drink the spring with you, Aaron. Uh, I've got the spring. Do either of you, do you, oh, either no, of you have a fall. preference between the, the 110, the spring, the autumn? Is there something you particularly like from the Port Escape? Forty-five is my favorite. To be fair. <laughs> yeah. no, oh, nice answer. Nice either. answer, Hamilton. I don't get I don't get to drink it that often, but the forty-five is my favorite. Got a question for you? Okay, something that maybe everyone else could try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Twelve spring. Then. Do the seasons just refer to when they're released, or is it? Or is he trying to capture, you know, the the spring or the fall? sense within each dram. He's trying to catch the sense. Okay. Or, but it also is released and it was in the also fall. released. Yeah. yeah. Also so. released. Yeah. Okay. So it coincides well, nicely with being released. But basically the well, spring edition, the spring edition was 18 casks of refill bourbon Kalila and the twelve and I'm gonna to have to glance you can cheat. It's okay. Oh, it's all right. We no one's seen this. Someone's watching. Don't worry. Look over here, guys. Look over here. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody look at that up here. <laughs> hey, Julie's back. <laughs> I, just, I just fell off my chair for a second. <laughs> nine, nine We're refill bourbon, nine refill American oak casks, uh, five Oloroso sherry, and then three Solera sherry. Because oh. yeah, this, this is very fruity. This is, yeah. all, this is this is smoky yeah. and fruity. At the same and time. the third one has actually got fruit, fruty too. Well, mm. I think it's it, there's a lot more smoke to it than the one ten. Yeah, it is. I think, and I think um, this is the autumn one you're talking about. The autumn, yeah, the autumn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, and I think there's a real difference in smoke between the spring and the autumn yeah. as well, which is so. It's obviously it's it's the as well coming mm. into it. Hmm. Yeah. Double check on that smoking now, thing. Now, now, Chanel, when you're not drinking the 45, what would mm. be your favorite? <laughs> I actually do like the. I, I like the hundred proof. Yeah, the hundred proof yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, it's um, the, it, the one ten is just solid. It's just a solid. Yeah. Yeah, it's a solid. And, and I'll say, um, I guess I'm allowed to say, like Ollie's, Ollie's favorite between the 100 and the 110 is actually the American 110. The 55, the 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 two percent difference. Huh. Enough. I just think yeah. it, it sits nicely, but is it basically the same? It's not the same formula per se. It's a whole different vatting. Same concept though. Like right. yeah. how he's choosing it is gonna be the same. It's just mm-hmm. yeah, it's just that the alcohol is just taken down. Yeah. A just a little bit a tick. I have yeah, to I say that. I'm I'm not with him on that. I prefer the hundred proof. I think the hundred proof is more chocolatey than the hundred and ten. Yeah. Is that what it is? You like the chocolate? Yeah. 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 I do. And, and it, at the risk of sounding all corporate about it, I genuinely do like drinking Port Escape when I'm not working. You know, like it's not just. It's a good uh, show. It's a good. Yeah. yeah. I was buying it before I worked with Alexa. So. Do you do you guys like Kalila on its own? Oh, love it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love it. Me too. I love it. So, I, think but, I mean, what we found is that I, I tend to like. The independent bottlings of Kaliola better than the distillery releases. Yep, totally. Yeah. And they do I a lot of independent bottlings. I love the I love young Kalila. Like mm-hmm. 
six no. to eight. Like I just find no. it to be that's that's the happy point. Yes, yeah. we had that, we had that <laughs> Dark Brothers, so and the societies had a couple, and they were yeah. all in that like eight to eleven range or whatever. Mm-hmm. Because you're really so, you're getting punch, you're getting the peat punch, like, a punch, yeah, and you're getting the sweetness. And when you get past like for me, when you get past like that 10, 11, 12 year period, it really loses all that punch. And yeah, that's what I want. It's too mellow. It's yeah. too mellow. Yeah, yeah, there are some really good old Kalilas, of course. Of course. I was just gonna say then there's we um and it's not a core range anymore, but we had a nineteen year old Kalila, Portis Gig nineteen, and it was glorious whiskey, but just like that, it didn't punch me the same way that the eight and hundred yeah. so I don't, once yeah, they mellow long. out over time, you know, long term. Yeah, that's it. That's it's it. crazy with with the way old old Isla works, right? I remember yeah. the first yeah. time I had a Lafroig thirty year old, and I was like, "Where's the thing I like?" About, I know. You know, like it's still yeah. delicious. Yeah. I know. Yeah, uh, but it's not. Send me some if you've got any. But like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it, it. The, the the thing I was expecting from Lafroig, yeah. and I mean, if you know how Pete works, and it kind of does yeah. this anyway. Yeah. You're sort of like, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I think we all in our heads are thinking the 10 year olds of whatever, right? Ardbeg and Lafroig and Kalila or whatever the Kalila is, 12 or whatever, okay. the standard yeah. bottlings. And, you know, you're used to that punch. And then when you don't get the punch, you kind of, is this the right stuff? What is this? And why is it five times the price? Um, and people will ask you that it's not. So yeah. we had another one, another Portis Geek that, um, was last year or the year before last and it was 28 and sometimes when you're buying whiskey from a broker you buy as an isla whiskey so you don't have that distillery name on it so it's undisclosed actually, yeah it's um the the guarantee is that it's single malt the guarantee is the age the guarantee is the barrel it's been in all that kind of thing but no guarantee on what it actually is however we work with probably some of the biggest whiskey geeks out there, you know. Our big boss is, is pretty geeky when it comes to whiskey and he knows his stuff. To say that's an understatement that he knows his stuff, so <laughs> that it was Lafroig. So I was doing tastings with people and I would say to them, so it's 28 years old and I would go through all that as an Isla whiskey, undisclosed, undisclosed and blah, blah, blah. But the discerning palates among the company think that it's Lafroig. People would say, nothing like Lafroig. And I say, okay, well, when was the last time you tasted a 28-year-old Lafroig? You know, it's not, it, it definitely doesn't taste the same as the 10-year-old. So it's, oh, yeah, it was delicious. The, yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes when it comes to Porta Skeg, it's about, it's about the style, right? So sometimes yeah. it's not Kalila. It's it's what yeah. fits that yeah, style of that all it mm-hmm. wants, mm-hmm. wants Porta Skeg to be um, known for. Um, Julie? I think there's been sometimes it's been a Buna. And sometimes it's been a Lafroig and, and Kalila. Yeah, I was going to say, Buna is the second most common ingredient, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty Chanel, much. do you remember that uh, undisclosed um, Isla from your uh, previous? The 25-year-old. The 25 year old. I remember a battle with some of my friends here about what was that? And uh, was it Ardbeg? Was it? And they all, you know geeked out over what was it for sure they were all battling over it it's it was a tea was it a teaspoon one i think oh is that it's a just a it's a frankenstein of a couple well, it's a frankenstein it's a single <laughs> malt but it, it was done by one distillery at yeah. the other distillery mm-hmm. oh okay Got it. yeah so <laughs> they're both right like <laughs> yay <laughs> so do you guys work with how, you don't work on the other side on the, at all with the whiskey exchange per se, right? You don't. That's all the retail stuff. No, we don't. Right? Really. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think you do. No, so. no, I don't. But um, when it comes to the bottlings that TWE do, the whiskey bottlings, I think Ollie has a hand in. Yeah. Yeah. In oh, okay. So he does that. So he's he's not traveling to Isla now, though, right? Or does he just go for the day? He doesn't do that now. At the moment, there's no. But none of us are traveling just now. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I think he has to have yeah. all the samples sent to him. Uh-huh. And, yeah, that's the way he's getting around it. Yeah. His kitchen table must be crazy looking. Yeah, that's oh a my big God. box. His desk. His desk is insane. <laughs> like, I should take a photo. I'll send it to you guys. It's just like. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I'm right next to it. So I'm sort of like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
One of my first week when I was down, my first week when I started with them, I'd gone from working in local authority in the local council for a gazillion years, and uh, and I started in the office. I was in the office for a whole week, and people would come and just hand me glasses of whiskey during. I was sitting at a computer working. People would hand me glasses of whiskey, and I was like, "Oh, no, this is definitely better than the council. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a step up." This is a step up for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. So uh, kind of we can go talk about COVID a little bit. How is that affecting you guys aside from being stuck in your job, stuck in your homes? I think that's the whole story, right? That's it. Yeah. So you're just um, emailing and calling and you're on the phone and just yeah. Zoom things. I find that there's different things too, because when you're doing a tasting on Zoom or, or whatever, it's different now that you're being recorded. <laughs> it's fine when you're doing a tasting and you're in a group of people and you're live. You can say what That's interesting. I did. <laughs> Angelo, like, stop recording. Say <laughs> very good wow. about people from Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, just well, just that, yeah. that out, right? Yeah. He would have been more scared than about himself, honestly. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys foresee this or... Has Elixir talked about this being a permanent part of the, the program, the Zoom stuff and I, the virtual things? I think the virtual part probably. It's totally been, both. I know for at least me, it's been really valuable for our distributors around the world to be able to get one-on-one -on -one sort of uh, training time without us having to fly over there first and pick up that time once a year that we get to go over there. So yes. it, that's that's really important and that's changed how how we think about that sort of stuff. But so, in terms of... Uh, do you ship samples to them and then do like online tasting yeah. with them and guide them through? Yeah. 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 And it's, it's so much more, I find it so much more valuable than... But we're so much more accessible to people. That's right. the thing. Right. So when you've got to travel, you'll have X amount of time here, X amount of time here, and you'll have a schedule where you're just back to back. Whereas, you know, you could do two or three different things in a day for people who are literally anywhere, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. sure, from sure, that sure. perspective, you're more accessible. But from from my perspective, so mine is um, I'm doing taste, I'm doing whiskey tastings online. So the difference between doing a whiskey tasting in a bar, where you're able to bounce off of people and you can, you know, and people at the back can have a chat amongst themselves right. and and not disturb anybody, and you know, to this. 30 people on a screen and sometimes they sit away back here like this <laughs> sometimes they're on mute and they're just expressionless and this whiskey is just great can you guys hear me <laughs> oh boy can we have more of this can you guys send some more i love this whiskey. all right you know what he's going to the green room <laughs> but it's true or, or you're just getting stony-faced muted people and you're like uh -huh. right guys and you're telling these jokes and you're like this is Gold and no one's laughing. And <laughs> These are the jokes. You got to laugh now. <laughs> the other thing that I had, so I hosted a crowd last week and um, it was for a whiskey club and they hadn't actually seen each other since lockdown. So I was the last person to do a tasting for them in February. And this was me doing their first, uh, their first wow. one and they hadn't seen each other. So they were all talking to each other while I was... <laughs> <laughs> and the worst thing, it was like two men, Jim and John. Jim, did you get your fence fixed? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I'll just wait. You know, you can't <laughs> Can you guys just call each other? Oh my god, that's uh -huh. funny. Yeah. So that that was a uh, that was a bit tricky. So yeah. the well, alternative is that they're all muted, which is awful as well. It's weird because we know each other from meeting. Well me and Angela and Mike, we know each other from meeting each other at, at whiskey festivals here in the States and um, meeting all these people we've known over the years because you're seeing them face to face and you develop these great relationships, right? Yeah. And Chanel, that's how I met you. And, um, but that's gone. But then there's this other thing that's kind of taken over, which is good because Julie, I'm not sure I would have ever met you, right? But yeah. now because of this, that's true. We, you know, is, we've done, is that because she's from Glasgow? Is that why you wouldn't have wanted to be there? <laughs> okay, all right. Now you're just trying to find things to get in trouble for. <laughs> Cards and letters. We, we, we've talked to people all over the world, literally all over the world since this lockdown thing that we probably yeah. would have never spoken to. Yeah. 
Um, we've done tastings here in Los Angeles that we probably would have never done, but because of Zoom, we are doing them. Yeah. Um, so there's a there's a plus and minus to it all. We do miss, you know, of course, the camaraderie and getting together. Um, but we're also this, this whole other world is kind of opened up for I think everybody as well. That's a really good I, I, I think you have to adapt. You know, you just got to adapt with, you know, if you love whiskey, this is the way whiskey is going to come to you now in the mail. And you get some great people to come on and walk you through the tasting. and hope or, not in, you know. or not in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I got two whiskeys in the mail. One from you, it's one from Dram them. Roulette, they guys. Really, it's Dram Roulette. Whiskey. It's Dram Roulette. <laughs> Um, I will so the last time I actually did a, a live tasting was in LA, Aaron, like with you. Uh, that was for Burns Night, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the time I'd uh, come over to London and everything kind of shut down, um, I was pretty homesick for just seeing some like minded people and, and friends or whatever. And one of the first tastings I did on Zoom was with Ollie for um, the LA Scotch Club. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> with those guys. And you were quite. A troublemaker in that testing, <laughs> in that testing. Um, but it was otherwise. It was very nice I'll to see, see everybody. <laughs> That's why he's in the center square. That's right. <laughs> so, so we, we can keep an eye on him. So are we going to move to the? What do we have? What's next on this list of? Uh, what do you guys have left? Is it twelve? I got all kinds of stuff. Aaron's got all sorts of things. Um, I'm unsure what we've got left. Well, we can just pick whatever we want, couldn't we? There's yeah. no rules. Please. That's right. I might have more. If you've got, cards. so it is jumping from um, peats back to something fruity, but if you've got the Glen Barkey. I do. That's a nice one. Oh, sorry. I thought that was, I thought that was the one everybody had. Sorry. No, oh, I have it. Those guys don't. Oh, no, we, we, we don't we, have they it. They don't have, have it. it. But we had it before. We did. We did. And, and we got, it was that, very good. It's the, it's the, the single malts of Scotland. Is that the, yes. the line? So that's and, really uh, and we tried that before. That was, that was really good. Now, does Ali pick those as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Single malt of Scotland? Yeah. And he Jesus. does a separate batch for the States. Okay. Oh, my there's gosh. the global rela releases, and there's the States releases, Good and God. sometimes oh. there's Asia Pacific releases as well. That are wow. wow. This is like <laughs> chocolate and fruit. Oh, man. It's crazy. So, so how yeah. did Ali develop his palate that he can pick out what will sell in, in the Europe and, and the States and Asia. And lots of drinking, my friend. Through all that. I mean, lots of lots. He's, yeah. he's an alien. He's not, but, he's not uh, human. One of my favorite stories is when he, Sikinder had a box of, gave him a, left a box of drams on his desk or in the office or something like that. And all it said was a post-it note on top of it that said, fix these. <laughs> I think he was managing a store, like one of the whiskey exchange stores back then. Yeah. So he was like, Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so <laughs> baptism by fire might help a little bit. I, it just, it, it's amazing to me because I don't know that we've had anything said to us that hasn't been unique and very good, which is like, it doesn't taste like anything else, but it tastes like something you really want. And, and I, I think that that's high marks for the, that kind of palate. I find it so one of my one of the things he does, especially for single malts of Scotland, too, is is ensure that it, it still has that distillate lead. It's still distillate lead. Right. Um, which means you have to know what the distillate is tastes like at that age. Meaning and, that, oh, yeah. that time, okay. that frame of time, what it was trying to do. And I mean, that historical knowledge is just you mean it has to be something that's characteristic of that particular distillery. Yes. Like that house style or whatever you want to call it. House, it, 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 he wants it to taste like where it comes, yeah. comes from, for okay. sure. Yeah. 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 So but that, that right. means, you know, knowing the almost the production of that time, too. Because if it's an older style, right. maybe the production right. has changed since then. Right. But knowing what a 30-year-old Glenbergie or Ardmore is supposed to taste like compared to what it does now. And a lot of the, a lot of the bottlings are whiskey that's normally destined for blends. So you don't have a kind of mainstream education on them as well because like the Glen Burgie, for example, it's it's normally bound for blended whiskey. There's for not Valentine's. Uh, it's oh, it's Valentine's. Not Valentine's yeah. Yeah. So there's not many of them out there in the mainstream. So it's actually, you know, it's an even it goes even deeper that, yeah. that level of knowledge. So then Chanel. he is an alien. Okay, good. He's not human. He's not human. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel, so you have this, you you have a bartending background. So do you think about these things? I think in the part of Askeds, maybe. Um, do you think about 
how they work for cocktails when you're trying to talk to people? Not often, no. Not for this, not for like something like this. Um, maybe for the core range, like, so maybe for um, Port Escape 8 year old yeah, yeah. and 100, 110, um, you know. Pete. Pete yeah. Uh, classic cocktails are, don't, Scotch classic cocktails are pretty few and far between. So you, yeah, you do I, have to do a little bit of twisting and turning to. I don't think they work as well. I, I just I don't know. Don't. In, in, do Not as Scotch? well in terms oh. of like, let's say, versus a rye or a bourbon or an American style whiskey. I think they're more mixer friendly, whereas the Scotch is not as much. I think you you have to do a lot of. Um, you got to work a lot harder to make the it. specs, right? Because right. you're 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 comparing American whiskey, which is can be a lot sweeter or a bit on the spicier, right. different style of spice, right? Mm -hmm. So it is a little bit of <laughs> maneuvering. To, and, to and usually that. a lower proof. So you, you know you don't want to take like a one ten yeah. and ruin it by watering it down because the whole joy was the one ten. Yeah, but I, I, so I will say, so a blood and sand, like a peaty blood and sand is delicious, which is cherry herring, fresh orange juice, a bit right. of um, vermouth and peaty whiskey. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Shaky bacon. No, 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 no. <laughs> Straight uh, in the glass. I, hey, I like a peaty, uh, I like a, an Isla um, Bloody Mary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Very nice. Oh, yeah. Start your morning. It's a, it's a Morning, champions. <laughs> Breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner. <laughs> and di oh, I, I don't, I don't really like Bloody Marys, but I had uh, one with I think Lagavulin sixteen at uh, yeah. a local pub here oh, a few years ago. It was about. so good. It was just, it was just because I'm not a big vodka person or whatever right. the hell's in. Yeah, yeah. usually it's it vodka. was. Yeah, well, and it's I, good snapper if it's gin. Ah, okay. But I also like I make old fashions with. with yeah, Scotch. I like old fashioned Scotch. I think yeah. the whiskey old fashioned is yeah. excellent. And yeah. my favorite twist on it is the one that they do at um, Attaboy, which is called a Tattletale, which is peated whiskey, Highland whiskey blended with honey syrup, like honey water, mm -hmm. and um, Ango stirred down. It's oh sweet. wow, yeah. it's good. Send us the recipe, please. Oh, I will. I will. Send us the Absolutely. ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I got a better idea. Let's we send this lockdown. Do <laughs> make us a few. We'll fly out to London for drinks. We're good with that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so we make it work. We make it. We make yeah, it work I think. With I think you, it's. I think you guys are. You, you, I think a lot of scotch can be manipulated into good cocktails. Yeah, absolutely. I think so, and there's, and I. We've I think, I think you want the, the flavor profile. If you really like scotch, you make a cocktail work. And if you don't like scotch, it's it's not rye, it's not bourbon, it's not gonna taste like whatever you wanted. But but scotch is it's it's really good. It just it is. <laughs> just as it is. Just but see, just and I love highballs. I love a good highball. A That's highball too. It's just yes. simple. Yeah. yeah. Don't have to mess around too much with it. You still get the flavor of the whiskey. Yeah. But it's fizzy and tickles your nose when you're drinking. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's refreshing. And who doesn't like that? And, and, and I think longer. the highballs work better yeah. with and scotch than they do with rye or bourbon. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, too yeah. sweet. Yeah. It's too That's sweet. Like, it's kind of yeah. weird with rye and bourbons, I think. Yeah, it's not as good. I don't really like it. The whiskey I, and soda is okay, but. I learned when living in the States, actually, that you can't just ask for a whiskey soda because you you get American whiskey. Yeah, you got to tell me. Oh, yeah, yeah. The rest of the world, you, you tend to get, tend to get scotch. You and you do, it. you get that in bars in the UK as well. Do you? A number of times where I've asked for, like, whiskey and soda, um, whiskey and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack, Jack and Coke. But, but Jack you get and Jack, Coke. and I just, I, I just don't like it. It's just, just like, sweet. no, you don't even know, like, American cream soda. American cream soda. You guys yeah. know cream soda, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, but this makes a really good cocktail. Oh That's yeah. It. <laughs> oh, is that a name drop, Mike? Is that a name drop? We, no, it's, it's a, a brand drop. It's a brand drop. A brand drop. Okay. The brand drop. Brand brand drop. Anywhere. That's a whole other category. I don't have time for that. Julie, what's your favorite? <laughs> Julie, what's your favorite pub in Glasgow? My favorite pub. Yeah. I have to I have allegiances to two, so I can't choose one. So the Pot Still and the Bon Accord are my two bars in Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah, good bars, good pubs. Yep, yep. Yeah. Chanel, what's your favorite yeah. in London? Oh, you probably yeah. haven't been to one yet. <laughs> yeah, that's 
light on that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm you not haven't. Sure. You probably haven't been to a pub since you've been there, right? I have because you you weren't gonna keep me too far away from Guinness. <laughs> I was getting real getting Stir crazy? Real titchy about about not having a Guinness, but living in London that was annoying. So I found one. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? The Dove, and it's not a it's not a whiskey bar, but it, it's a good freaking pub on the Thames in Hammersmith. It's uh, called the Dove. Mm, nice. nice. What's your favorite in LA? You lived where'd you live? Orange County? Where'd you live? Yeah, oh, I was in New York. My mom's in Orange County. Oh, your mom's in Orange County. Yeah, I was in New York though. Um, uh, what's where did we have where did we have um, Burns? I don't remember. Ta Tam Tam Oh, Tam Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I West like side. the guys there. They're, it's good fun. Good fun there. All right. So where's our, where's our next whiskey, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna drink through these two. I'm gonna keep working on that. Which isn't Pretty bad. Fun. I'm not suffering by any means. Oh, not at all. Oh, not so I, I have a back to our COVID stuff. I have a question. Uh -oh. So next week, next Thursday is the Whiskey Exchange oh, yeah, 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 virtual yeah, yeah. show. Your show. Tell us all about it's that. Just, so, what do you guys? What can you tell us? What are you involved at all? <laughs> I was just going to say, just you mentioned we had to the two of us just started to twitch a wee bit there. Uh oh. Are oh, we did. involved? <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the times? Yeah. Have you guys seen how long it's running for? I sent these guys the the list. It's like nine <laughs> nine hundred days long. It was fifty one pages, wasn't it? Yeah. He, like he, he sends us a rundown of what we're going to talk about, and it's one. And page. I thought that and was the rundown. I got a little it's worried. Fifty one pages. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not printing that. <laughs> they don't print that. Because <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign up and go to some of that stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Should. Definitely. You should. So it's 28 hours a day. And it, <laughs> as you say, running for 900 days. It's, yeah, it's long. It's long. It's not short. <laughs> it's, it's not short. It's so so it's it runs from part. Friday to Friday. It runs from Friday oh. to Friday. What's, the the Friday the... that it starts, you get a little bit of a, just a little dip your toe in the water kind of day, yeah. which is about five hours. And then the, <laughs> the next, then it, the next six it, days no. is a million hours ten, a day. Ten hours. It's but endless. in 10 hours um, and then the main stage which is run by the whiskey exchange which is hosted by don davies who's the head buyer at whiskey exchange billy abbott and uh dave broom that's where all those seminars i think they're doing 110 seminars something, something like, like that, that. oh my god um, oh, but then oh. but then there's all the people who have their stands so there's the diageo stands there's the elixir stands there's you know all of those stands and they've also got stuff running it's a little confusing it need, I need wow. a grid. I need a very big grid. It, it, it's, it's a bit of a spider grid if I was to do it for you. It's, it's sort of like the, there's I'm, a main hub and then like things. No. Coming up. Where's What's the home? website? Where, where's the is the whiskeyexchange.com. Okay, I have that, but where's the show? I'm it's called the show. virtual. It's, you'll see it. It should be a oh, right here. Oh, virtual it's, whiskey. It's, it's, so it's also awesome. whiskey show, right? <laughs> What's it's that? whiskey show. Whiskeyshow.com. You can also go in that way too. Oh, I don't know. What's I think what's really cool too is. Not maybe for us so much, but you can order sample packs for some of the yeah. Yeah. separate events, right? Yeah, there's like a hundred sample packs to choose from. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. yeah. they got all so the these are the, yeah. these are the different categories. Um, Indies indicates that it's independent bottlers. Okay. I believe. Wh which rabbit hole should we go into? Oh my god! <laughs> go into Indies. Go into Indies. <laughs> Indie series. Indie series. Join the Indie series. Yeah. Which yeah. rabbit? Because I think you'll see some of our oh. packs in there. Hey, you know it's not so bad being Alice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. This is our kind of rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. You're the Mad yeah, Hatter. There's our Elixir Distillers pack, so that has about, uh, three of our brands on there. There's Elements of Island there as well as... So someone is pouring there. little bottles and labeling them all day long. Uh, correct. Oh, correct. my God. A many well, bottling all. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Elixir. What's new, Pussycat? That's cool. They got yeah. Tom Jones for that one? Yeah. <laughs> is it all Welsh? Brown, brown, brown. Click it. Yeah. Click it. I'm <laughs> clicking it. I'm clicking it. I'm looking at it. Oh, nifty. Oh, there so we go. Blended malt. Yeah. Nice. So Very that nice. one. Um, Watch Whiskey Company, I'm sure, in it. Does it? Yep. There's two with Watts. Uh, oh, Watts with Mark there. Watts. So Ooh, Mark Watts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is like Mark Watts' like initial offerings, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Two of yeah, the four, I think. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ange, I think, I think you want to want to throw one on the counter for that. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess I should, huh? <laughs> oh, because it's on the show. Definitely. Number three. Number three. But you'll see that we've got our Orkney malt in there, too, which is cool. 
Nice. That's fun. I wonder where that's from. Could be a few places. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can safely say it's not Scapa. So it's not Scapa. <laughs> it's, it's not. We are not Scapa. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, are you guys involved at all in any of the seminars or any of those? Yeah. Are you guys doing stuff yeah. yourself? How many Definitely. are you hosting? Seventy-four of them. So Julia <clears throat> has been running our um or our program for the stall for our stall. Um, I really haven't. Chanel's been doing this. Been, been so been so, so nothing's really being done. I can, right? Wait, wait, we're just going to do this for pretty much, <laughs> seven <yeah>. days. <laughs> so this is whiskey drinking. Yeah. You're, you're looking at it, my friend. This is it. <laughs> what do you want? This is the versus seven days, right? <laughs> we, just to, we just need to wipe under their eyes every morning. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I'm right. Again. By, <laughs> by Thursday, we'll be like, shut up, Julie. You should. <laughs> no, no. Talk about this one more time. But I'm, I'm turning off the chat box. No more talking. <laughs> yeah. No more questions. I'm going to just tired of for that. a bit. I'm just going to meet yeah. you for a bit. That's fine. Yeah. Like, no. There will be no <laughs> questions. <laughs> You will drink your whiskey and be quiet. Um, but I'll, in <laughs> silence. <laughs> I know that Ollie's doing a few of the chats on the main stage as well, as well as Mitch, yeah. who's doing the rum side. Um, He's yeah. like there every day, it looks like, in the morning or something, or well, whatever, whenever it starts. I thought he was like, every day is like rum. There's a rum thing in the very, in the very beginning, I thought. I thought. What do you mean? He's going to be crazy. <laughs> or, Chanel and I are doing a... Um, Tea and a toast every morning. Oh, that's nice. Like first oh, hand. Yeah. So we are going to be drumming at half past 11 in the morning every day. Will there be a bagpiper? Get, everybody, get everybody's <laughs> <out>. <laughs> There'll be a piper yeah. piping. <laughs> Waking everybody up on Zoom. Zoom might cancel you guys. They might say, no more. We're done with you guys. You're annoying. <laughs> now, if you're in the U.S., can you order the tasting kits? Yes. Depends on the state. Oh, okay. So Jersey, okay. you might have to get it into New York, eh? I'm not sure. California's fine. That's good. I'll have a That's good. Look good. So people can participate if they wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Great. All over the world, right? All over the world. Yeah. All over the world, which is different to every other year yeah. where you have to pay to get over there, you know? Yeah. yeah. So well, this might be a new thing for the way these companies again, work as well. Back to what we talked about. So we could never go to a, well, not never, but we probably wouldn't be go to London for a whiskey festival, well, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Or even, even back in, what was it? June for the, for the Isla festival. I yeah. think I attended six or seven of the individual distillers um, days oh, in funny. some way. And it was great. Yeah. It was really fun. I mean, I'm sure it's not the same as being there, but it was really fun. And yeah. I think this is really a great idea that you can get bottles or taste in your hand but, but prior to them. Yeah. 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 I definitely am going to look into it. I think it I, looks yeah, really I, great. I think looking at the lineups too, hearing some of these guys speak, or, you know, getting them all in one Zoom chat, you know, one room to talk and, and, and speak about their knowledge is just going to be like, yeah. Know, be Oh, and the names, or it's like the Hall of Fame of whiskey people. Like who? Yeah. Uh, Chanel LaCroix and Julie Hamilton. <laughs> and then it goes downhill after that. I, I thought you were going to name drop. I was waiting for I just name. did. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. No, but they're here. It doesn't count. It doesn't, it doesn't count. count. He's afraid he of the count going over open rolling. again. You know what? He goes to the green room. Let me know how they do it. He's going in the green room. He's out. Oh, he's, he's out. out. He's, he's out. Hey, did they, did they, is it clean back there, Aaron? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's in this room anymore. What's and now we have their cigarettes. What is that? <laughs> what are you <laughs> Can we can't smoke in California, in the United States no. anymore. And we, and we certainly really can't accept, uh, what do you call it, tobacco money for the show. Oh, that's true. Can't do that. But we'll take whiskey money. <laughs> We're in. Every day. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. I, I totally love the eight-year-old poor ass cake. That's great, it. isn't it? It's yeah. so good. It's so citrusy and sharp, I think. It doesn't taste like 48 or 45. No. No, I, it's really beautiful. Yeah. I think, you know, that's testament to, to it not being about the numbers and the stats on the bottle. It's actually about whether or not you like it, you know, like yeah. how it tastes. Yep. Right. Right. Right, right, right. Do you yeah. think and the whole age statement? Sorry. 
Do you think the whole age statement thing is, is getting, I mean, the not having an age statement thing has become more accepted as time has gone on? I think it goes in peaks and troughs. I think it depends what the trend is in companies. Mm -hmm. I think so you get people who say it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter at all. And then three months later, they're saying, so we're now releasing our age statement whiskey because we think age matters and it, you know, it's... No, it's it's the finished product that matters. Yeah. Julie, your club, uh, it, do you find that attitude kind of... The, 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 the NAS stuff, is it becoming more acceptable like with, yeah. within a geeky universe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think um, our whiskey club, we buy, I mean, we buy really lovely whiskies for our whiskey club. We do really, really well for them. And um, and no age statements that there'll be some guys that will have something to say about it at the start. And then when they're tasting whiskey, it's, you know, doesn't matter. We did it. We actually did, interestingly, Glenn live at 12 year old in the Founders Reserve when it first came out, when they first removed it. And found it, and we did it blind, and Founders Reserve came out top, which they were all a bit kind of, oh, okay, right, well, I wasn't expecting that, you know. So Yeah, I think when we do blind tastings here, um, everyone's eyes open up when you, wait, that's a two-year-old whiskey? On a, like, we just yeah. did a bourbon one. That's a two-year-old bourbon, or whatever it is. It's yeah. weird, you know, and it's getting over that um, stereotype, you know, that the mm -hmm. number means something. And sometimes it does, but... And a lot of times it doesn't, yeah. unless you find something bad, then it matters. <laughs> <laughs> then it wasn't age right. Yeah, well, I it, think yeah, so. it's you. That, that's one of our big criticisms, when, especially with American whiskeys. The craft stuff is it, that's like the first thing you hear. It tastes really young. Yeah. No one ever says it tastes really old. No one says that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. But I think um, I think there are whiskeys that have got real potential still really young and when you taste them you're kind of you know it's it's nice but it's still really young <laughs> so it's got potential to be better when it's older because distilleries are released stuff that's three years old and so yeah. something quite made it yet but I, i've definitely seen that in um world whiskies so yeah. like australia has a thing for that or they'll put them in quarter casts or they'll put wood chips which they're allowed to do over there and yep. just yeah. do it right. like you know just try to force the age super age yeah and you're like yeah just it, it, you just there's nothing you can do man like it's a bit warmer there but yeah there's only so much you can do you, yeah you just gotta let then it you're over it and it's turning into yeah Matched something it. that's it's not very palatable yeah, patience is key. It is. When you and you can do, you can have patience in your uh, latitude, <laughs> where you guys are, right? Because it's cooler. Yeah, sure. You can you can sure. have it because because of the weather. Um, yeah, your, your angel, a lot of climate your share. so your much angel. different than mm -hmm. Kentucky or or India or Taiwan Israel. or someplace yeah. or Israel, or, right? Yeah, or Tucson, or Tucson. Yeah. Don't forget right? Tucson. Don't. My son is on. My son is on the way in from Tucson, so I'm hoping he's bringing me a bottle of uh, Delbeck. Hopefully, <laughs> with, with American whiskey, do they do a lot of um, temperature controlled aging or anything like? I think that? they do in. Well, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm not sure about Kentucky. I don't think yeah. in general they do, right? No, no. Kentucky's just basically a warehouse, right? It's so all these warehouses. There's, they there's want too the, much. There's too much cost involved with the, the temperature control, Definitely. and most of those are descended from Scotch Irish people, so. I think we've covered why they put <laughs> adding electricity. No, <laughs> no. no. Why? why? <laughs> you guys are going to use your outhouses still. We're not. We're not adding electricity for the warehouse. You are pulling. No, <laughs> no. We have the same. I think the same issues here is you know cost is a big factor, and especially in the southwest or the southern part of the country where it gets so hot. These, these little places would spend a fortune trying to Absolutely. create a computer controlled yeah. environment. Yeah. And then it's not the other issue kind of like you, you have, I mean, you want, for lack of a better word, terroir, Providence, whatever you want to say, you, you, lose, so you want it to be more like, yeah. you want yeah. it to be like the, the world that exists where it was created and yeah. not some fake world that where the, somebody yeah. just clicks, you know, cold on the, the thermostat. Yeah. Um, and, 
and, and the Southwest uses a lot of weird woods to go and do things. And they, instead of using peat, they'll use like scrub oak or something. And yeah, if or you climate or controlled and, and did something, you'd, you'd nullify a lot of that. It would, it okay. just wouldn't come through. So, yeah. But I think it's, it's, it's the same as in Scotland, yeah. right? I, yeah. Think yeah. The same thing, I, right? I know in, I know in India, I, I can't remember right now if it's Amrud or Paul John. I think it's Paul John. They have the underground. Yeah. Um, Paul John. Half yeah. Half of their, yeah. Um, aging is underground, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Just a little yeah. bit of temperature control. I mean, yeah. it's still, still, rude. still, still a little bit, it's still a little an bit idiot. balmy. But, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. They only lose, they only lose eight percent a year instead of twelve. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there are companies that take bottle bottlings and move them elsewhere, right? They'll they'll it's made yeah. in X and then it's moved to country Y or a lot of it goes to Scotland. We've seen that before. Um, and you see it on the label of the bottle, you know, aged in Scotland. Um, it's or they'll, or they'll put it on a ship and put it out to sea for a couple months. Oh, who's that? Jefferson? <laughs> yeah, I think it was Jefferson. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Ocean. Right. That's so that's weird. Years ago, in diesel bikes, they used to put it onto ships and. I think that's what they were. Well, that's the story, isn't it? Isn't that how it all became discovered? Because they had the transfer on, they put brandy in a barrel, and they're like, "Oh, wait, it got better." You know? Yes. Yeah. That's what they say. That's, well, the British it. Navy, as they as they put the barrels out and sent them further away, it got better the longer they were away. That's right. <laughs> it aged. How about that? It's like the rum, <laughs> right? Yeah. So you guys, there was a uh, big, big. We'll, we'll try to be topical here for a second. Um, Ooh, we're going to hit the elephant in the room. We'll hit the elephant. Oh. Oh, hey, the elephant who looked room. at me when you said that? Oh, John. You said that. Thank These guys down here. Um, so this Murray Gate thing, the Jim Murray story. We were doing yeah. so good. We were doing yeah. so good, Aaron. We were, but you it's know. the third rail. He's got to touch the third rail. Yeah. yeah that's all right. We've had so, four drams now. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, I know that's fine. Well, it's a it's a really interesting topic on on a lot of different levels. Um, uh, what are your guys' thoughts on this whole this craziness that happened? And it's only been like five days or something like that, right? Oh, like Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, Becky Paskin. Maybe we just Becky oh, Paskin. It was probably brewing behind the scenes, but it made the right. So the the whiskey bible, Jim Murray's book comes out with all the reviews for the year and then number one whiskey that everyone's seen that has for years been uh, Crown Royal? watched by a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe not love, but watch. And then watch Becky, some. let's see some. <laughs> yeah. And Becky Paskin, who's a writer uh, in the UK, a uh, whiskey writer. She got a PDF, I think of the book and then went through it and on her, on a train ride, I think she said, and then she flipped through it and found various, uh, entries that were less than, um, I don't know, politically correct, let's say that. And um, put that out on Twitter, I think, is where she, I think, started on this. And it created a whole host of, um, con not controversy, but discussion about- well, uh, controversy, definitely. Uh, and, and whether what he's been doing for years, Mr. Murray, is legitimate or not and, and nice and politically correct in the, in the Me Too world that we live in now. And it's many brands have denounced him and taken his books off the shelf from, and will no longer carry them. And very large brands, very large companies. Um, I don't know. Whis Whiskey Exchange being one of them. Whiskey Exchange, yeah. right? So yeah. any thoughts, comments on the whole Craziness and not so craziness. I think it was a it was a matter of time, really. Yeah. I think um, there's a friend of mine um, who who owns Isla Whiskey Academy. She wrote a really succinct post that she put out on Instagram, and she was talking about how it's all right to call whiskey sexy and it's all right it's, so it's all right to write about whiskey and it's all right to write about women and it's all right to write about sex but when you start to cross them over and you compare women to whiskey and compare whiskey to sex and then liken women to the sex you start to cross into territory that's just it's just a bit distasteful you know icky yeah you is know? that right is your friend rachel yes yeah can i can i name drop you yeah, there you go. Yeah. Name that. That's Rachel McNeil. Yeah, I love Rachel. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. So you know, I think, I think what Becky, I think what Becky said is absolutely right, and I think people are right to back her up. She didn't call a witch hunt for Jim Murray. What she said was, "This isn't okay. It's not all right, and it's time people started to recognise that this kind of language isn't all right." Hmm. Now, the outcome of that is that people have taking these books off the shelves, but that's because his language isn't all right. And if it's I, been racist, it would have been, you know, there would have been a different discussion and it would have been a different take, but it, it, it wouldn't have been considered acceptable. His language is sexist, so it's, you know, it's not all right. I think she highlighted something, stuff that we, a lot of the industry knew that was yeah. maybe afraid to talk about or bring to the, to light and the, the wonderful thing about the free market is people don't have to buy it and they probably and ultimately they probably won't in long term and it'll probably fade away because people have the right to say they will spend their money or not and yeah. he will either have to change yeah. or not and people will just say okay i'm not gonna spend my money on that book it's not what i want to spend my money on i think it's a thing that it's so prevalent and it happens so often that there's an awful lot of it that we, among ourselves, just, you know. We just, we just shoulder. It's yeah. just what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Julie, Julie and I have definitely been speaking about that a lot. Um, mm. I know I've read stuff, you know, read passages of, of Jim Murray's book before, and it's like white noise, you know. You don't even, yeah. right. you don't even yep. pay attention to it anymore in that way because you yeah. don't you're so used to it which isn't great it's the same as you know whiskey shows and you you guys probably see it in tastings when if a woman is doing the tasting how different the dynamic can be sometimes and and sometimes not in a positive way and sometimes in a, in a good way yeah. and and you if you've been you know you do this a couple of times and you just get so used to it that you just don't hear it you don't see it anymore or, or you do but you you know it's like water off a duck's back it has to be right that's what it is. Because it's it, unfortunate. If you yeah, were just to say the facts and all the time, it would yeah. just be <laughs> constant <laughs> noise. You know, um, but I and I think her saying what she said made you kind of wake up from it and go, "Oh shit!" You're like, actually, I freaking hate when he does. Like, I I, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, that and is this wrong. is bullshit. Like, this is total bullshit. Yeah. We work way too hard for for us to be boiled down to you know like this crappy paragraph <laughs> um, yeah. it, it yeah. also it, it, it just puts a bad light on the whole industry right it, it, it's not good for anybody there's no positive out of it and we used to go to the jason and joshua's um yep. the whiskey jubilee, the jubilee. and yeah. part of and part of their uh contract with, with no, uh, models? no models right that's yeah. that was my favorite show. it was it was great yeah. right and i remember i don't know i you know, you weren't there angela in seattle one one brand actually brought a talking head she was very pretty but didn't know she didn't know she couldn't pronounce any of the brand any of the the lineup that she was trying to sell and it was so obvious and it was so and i think jason and joshua kind of scolded that company because they didn't fulfill the contract. Um, and more whiskey festivals, more brands have to do that. They have to speak out in that way to not allow that kind of um, attitude to, to permeate and, and persist through the industry. Yeah. We see it, I see it in, in my, own, my own business. We see that, used to see it a lot more in, at trade shows and model signing things and you know, posters and whatever. And that's kind of the old, that's old school. It doesn't happen anymore. It's kind of gone away for better. Yeah. Because you're here to educate the masses and not, and not be lewd and lascivious. Maybe a move more, more towards professionalism and knowing the product. Exactly. Actually yeah. gaining something from the show, which is what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about education. That's right. And, Especially you know, on the public drinks. level. <laughs> of course. Well. And that's the thing, people like me, that's my job. My job's to talk to people and teach them about our brand. 
So for me to not be able to talk about it, I'm not, you know, for someone to come in and just be a face and not actually be able to talk about it, it's not helping anybody, really, is it? No, yeah. not, at all. not at all. Cheers to Becky for uh, for doing Honestly, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been an yeah. interesting week of um, conversation. Um, uh, hard not to talk about uh, yeah. with whiskey professionals, I think. Um, so we have some uh, couple questions for you guys that we like to end with sometimes. Um, these are very critical questions. Critical. And is this where you say, do you actually drink whiskey? <laughs> That's question <laughs> one. Work the answer. <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> you guys, you guys ready? Go. Uh -oh. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> Correct answer. Very good. Do we own dogs? Correct do we, answer. Do, do we have? Do we have dogs? Do we have dogs? Travel Probably too not. much. Travel yeah, you can't much. have dogs. You can't have pets, right? No. Yes. Yeah. I saw the best dogs in Scotland. They were, that's not a name drop, by the way. How is that a name drop? It's not a name <laughs> drop. It's not. I just. He's just away for it. Right? <laughs> I'm waiting for those two doofuses to say something. <laughs> It's bragging great. about you, you know traveling, that's but it. that's I, you know what? This is ridiculous. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta shut him up. This is the only time I've ever been able to shut him up. I like it. So that's a positive to this whole online thing. I feel you may have too much power. A lot of power, Angela. I don't know. Not really. I, have, I have zero power. This is how sure. worlds fall, how, how countries <laughs> fall. <laughs> The no, orange can become president. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Does that mean you're the dictator, or what Ooh, does that me? mean? Oh, no, okay. yes, he is. No. He's oh, power. I don't, I don't know power. about the tater. <laughs> no, not at all. All right. <laughs> what? He's what whiskey? Guy. We kind of talked about this before. What whiskey cocktail that you guys can make would knock our socks off? Old fashioned. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a tattletale. Yeah. Saddletail, nice. Yeah. What's, nice. what's in the saddletail? That's the one that has the Highland whiskey, the Isla whiskey, uh, honey water, and Ango. It's a it's a mm. it's a style of old fashioned. <laughs> what are what are the proportions? Um, you could go. Oh, let's see. In, in ounces, in ounces, it's um, sorry, one and one and three. No, like two ounces of whiskey. One and a half. Go one and a half Highland and then half Isla. Okay. And then um, half an ounce of honey. Half an ounce of honey. Two okay. dashes, two to three dashes of anger. Mm. Honey, or honey, 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 that's honey water. I, I would honey mix water. the honey two to one. So two honey to one water. Okay. Like a jar and just sort of shake uh -huh. it out. Uh -huh. And then um, use lemon peel as your garnish because that kind of dries everything out as opposed to orange. Yeah. Orange can be a bit too sweet. I got you. Too I got you. And, and your drink, Julie? Um, your old fashioned. I'm just, Hundred proof. I can't. I don't know how to do ounces. I'm afraid. So we'll just say equal measures. That'll keep it right. Um, equal measures. Hundred proof. And instead of honey water, a chocolate dark chocolate liqueur, not a cream one though. Ooh. Hundred proof and chocolate bitters. The bitter truth. Chocolate bitters. Oh okay. yeah, bitter truth. Yep. Any particular nice. whiskey or? Hundred proof. Hundred proof. Hundred proof. We're asking. Oh, the yeah, Port Askeg. Okay. Nice. Is it, is right. it Port Askeg or Port Askeg? How do you say it? So if you live in Isla, Port Askeg. Port Askeg. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, so uh, Chanel's so on I'm, the move. I'm uh -oh. charging. I'm charging. I'm charging. <laughs> Port Askeg. Port this Askeg is, is probably. I'm giving into trouble a lot from Scottish people for how I say Port Askeg, but I cover the whole of the UK, so I've got to deal with English people as well as Scottish people. Oh, and Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you guys currently binging on Netflix? I am watching Ratchet at the moment. Is it good? Is it, oh, good? Is it good? Is it any good? Is it's it any good? Freaky. Is it any good? It is good. It's freaky good. It's good. Okay. They got and mixed I noticed, reviews here. Yeah, the and I noticed that they also because, loaded yeah. um, uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's also available on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, that makes Ooh, sense. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just about to finish up American Gods, but that's on Prime over here. Uh, I couldn't get it. That got a little weird. That first episode, there was some weird sex. Do you guys, well, do you know Neil Gaiman? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you know, if I mean the, yeah, you have Neil to Gaiman. The, Is he a writer? Yeah, yeah he's a writer. He had a great comic book series called um, The Sandman. Okay. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll pretty and his his novels are wonderful. So I just wanted to get into that. 
What else? Sits what else? I watched as well. Which uh, was they, I won't they won all the Emmy Awards and no one's ever watched the show. <laughs> I, I refuse Crazy. to watch the last season because it didn't Is it it's over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in denial. It's so I, I, I do love Eugene Levy and, and uh, Maureen O'Hara. No, not Catherine, Maureen O'Hara. Catherine, Catherine O'Hara. 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 Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. Sorry, they're, they're wrong O'Hara. And, so and they threw themselves completely into the role. Doesn't yeah. matter how ridiculous it is. They're, Absolutely. They embrace it. Well, we're old guys, so we really liked SCTV back in the day. Yeah, yeah that, that's a great show. It's so good. Okay, I have, I have some questions for you guys. Oh, go no. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh... Cats or dogs? <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Uh, neither, but if I had to choose dogs. Neither? Correct. I have two kids. I don't need pets. Oh. True. Yeah, I have pets. They're called children. Yeah, and you exactly. Don't have to, when they and, leave, and then you don't have to walk them. They walk themselves. It's really actually, it's, it, it's funny because my youngest is is lobbying heavily. He's lobbying like the tobacco industry in DC. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you know, it's not going to be good for you because it's going to be someone who's happy to see me, someone that listens to me, someone that wants to, you know, which none of you do. Right. Yeah. So why would you want it's to have that in the house? You, you'll be buying <laughs> the dog or car, not the kid. All right, Chanel, what's your question? Uh, for, um, for a mentor or an idol, what whiskey would you give them? Oh, I, oh you mean as, as a gift? Oh. As a gift. Oh, oh as a gift. See, that would depend, see, because I, it depends on the person. I think you really have to kind of, I don't want to give someone something that, that I like, but they, I know they're not going to like. But if I had to choose, if I had to give someone a gift, it would probably be something from Isla. You know, it would probably be maybe, you know, maybe a Lafroig car chase or a Port Esqueg, because who wouldn't like a, a Calila? So, yeah, I, uh, I, agree, I agree that you have that. You got to be careful who you're buying for. Right. Um, uh, like 10 I years ago, I would have never given Mike a Lafroig or a Port Esqueg. But now, sure, why not? Yep, I agree. Yeah. I don't, I don't, in general, I don't recommend uh, cast strength whiskeys, you know, or, or gift, unless it's someone I know who's going to like a cast strength whiskey. But, but that's changed too over the years, right? I think more, yeah. more of my friends yeah. like Expect the higher it. proof. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. And um, personally, you can always buy me a cast strength whiskey, right? But uh, I don't know. I, I think an I love some sort too. Yep. I think I'd go Isla if I knew someone liked some kind of peated whiskey. I'd get him a better peated whiskey, like a Portis Gag. The, one, the 110 is really good. Um, a weeded bourbon, because I like weeded as opposed to rye bourbons. And uh, Irish whiskey, I'd probably go with like a, a Middleton, the very rare or something like that. I, I was I mean, that. Again, it depends on the flavor profile of the person, because some things people don't like. You know, my, my wife is constantly a, that smells like Band-Aids. I don't really like it. Yeah, iodine, yeah. <laughs> Where you give her uh, like a Pandaren, she thinks is the greatest whiskey in the world. Uh, so you just don't know. Um, you she been reading Jim Murray's whiskey Bible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She barely you know, tolerates my existence. I don't want to give her a book. <laughs> you know, my, not my biggest um, uh, problem with that book, criticism, because uh, I have one from ages ago. Is the type is so tiny, I can't even read it. Who, why would you put out a book that yeah. no you'd have to get a magnifying glass to read? What is that all about? Less pages. So it's yeah. cutting down in pages. Good. Yeah. Less is more. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best junk food to eat with whiskey? Oh, oh. she's chewy. What's your favorite crisp? I guess is the question. I would huh? say tonic. I, I love a tonic with. What's that? Oh, it's like a giant Kit Kat, but oh. better. Uh, better than a so Kit Kat. There's a number of things from the Tunnock's Confectionery. Oh, that's a candy company? So, yeah, it's um, biscuits. How do you spell it? Um, T-U-N-N-O-C-K-S. Okay, I'll find it. I will find it. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. So, not Tato's, not something from those guys. A Walker Chris. Walkers. Oh, oh, you, you can't really get Tato's over in Glasgow. Tato's oh. an Irish thing, yeah. Oh, T-U-N-N-O-C-K? Is that them? T-U-N-N-O-C-K-S. Yeah. Okay, I got you. All right, I found them. Oh, they got a pretty website. 
We like pretty websites. Pop that, pop that up, Ange. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm. I'm queuing it up. Go ahead. Keep talking. Wonderful. So uh, I don't know. I like. Um, oh, that's pretty. Right. right? That's cool. Oh. oh, that's funny. Yeah. I like that website. I, I like it. I, I love like to have with Scotch. I don't know why. So he click, click, on on the products. Products. click on the products. Okay, where are we at? Uh, the Wayfair tub. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh. the oh, I've second, never seen that second in is tea cakes, which are like a biscuit base. So that's the caramel wafers. And then uh -huh. the next one is tea cakes, which are a biscuit base with mallow and chocolate. Oh. It's like What's fluff it? mallow. You know, you get jars of fluff mallow. Oh, yep. I love that. I, yeah. Bundles of so joy. It's, it's basically it's fluff and with a, with a biscuit tea base on the bottom of it. Yeah. So oh, now right. you're talking about whiskey I can't have and now treats I can't have. That sounds <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Super, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for giving us. You, you know, asked the question. They're not the best <laughs> guests, are they? <laughs> no, it's again, it's the troublemaker. And our next oh, guest. Okay, now he's looking at his <laughs> <laughs> to the green room. <laughs> to the green room. Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to give him the, oh, the you know, satisfaction of being ousted. I I have to say though, chocolate, you cannot go wrong with chocolate. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I do like savory as well, though. I do like um, this, like chips. I do like. Yeah. I like. I also. Yeah, with it, yeah. I like cheese with uh, with whiskey. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You know what? Like an yeah. Isle of Mull cheese with a little chig is oh. good. Mm. We used to do cheese um, comparisons, yeah. and that was my yeah, that yeah. was my favorite one. And I mean, yeah. it makes sense, right? But yeah. I I went to we have a little store nearby called the British Connection, where I bought my Iron Brew. Iron Brew <laughs> yesterday. How much did it cost you? Was it an absolute fortune? Depends. Uh, Scottish version it, of fortune or American An version of fortune? Angela will have a heart attack if I say the price. What, $3? <laughs> 3 dollars three fifty five. Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> For a bottle of, or 12 ounces of uh, soda? Well, a Starbucks. Oh, it's imported. Ounces. Uh, it's a Starbucks. Imported. It's if you imported. go get a latte, right. Starbucks is five bucks. This is like a Bordeaux. <laughs> no. Can we quote no, we you on that? Not. You can. <laughs> hey, can we get an Urn Brew uh, Scott sponsorship there? Oh, yeah, Aaron I love Brew. that. Aaron, Aaron, Brew. Brew. <laughs> Aaron Brew. But the best part about the store is they have this whole chocolate section. It's all Cadbury. Not all Cadbury, but a lot of Cadbury. And yeah. last, night, last night I had some kind of caramel thing with, what was I drinking last night? Uh, one of those whiskeys. No, I remember. The question um, is, what weren't you drinking last night? I wasn't drinking much. But one of those, that, that chocolate, that, that caramel yeah. with, with, with a scotch is just delightful. Yeah. Was it a caramello? I don't know. Oh, maybe is that what it's called? The purple? It's just like a big no. bar and you break them off. Is that what it's called? No, that's what I knew yeah. them as is caramellos. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got caramel inside. Yep. I don't know what the equivalent would be for American. What's an American <laughs> version of that? There probably isn't really one, is it? Like Rolo? Yeah. How about a Rolo? <laughs> oh. Sort of a Rolo. Yeah, yeah. But it's not no, chewy not like that. Rolos are not like. Yeah, yeah. Chewy. Taffy. Correct. You know? Yes. I, I, yeah. I forgot. I hadn't had it for a while and I thought, oh my God, my teeth are going to pop out. <laughs> <laughs> Shell, did you did you have a specific shell a uh, great pairing of uh, junk food with uh, whiskey? Let's see what, what what can I think of here. Um, I remember doing no, no. I I said Tunnix too. I think Tunnix. It was you was saying Tunnix? I didn't actually say anything. I said Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think because I for last for last trick or treat I did a I did a trick or treat pairing, but I. I, I actually think my favorite pairing was like the raisin round because <laughs> you always get raisins and trick-or-treats yeah you know yeah. that that one house that gives you raisins yeah, that house no one likes but, yeah. and i think i i paired that with a, a like a japanese or i i paired that with a as, as long as it's not apples with razor blades that was the 70s yeah. method right? <laughs> right. the house you go back to and tp when you're you know covering yeah, your house in toilet paper stupid right. raisins lady <laughs> All right, last question. Uh oh, who's the worst Spice Girl? Victoria. I don't even. Victoria, back yeah, posh, 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 and then Mel B. Yeah, who there really would is... have thought she would be the most successful? There but... really is no wrong answer. Really, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Julie, who do you think's your? Who, Julie? Who do you think? Uh, it was, yeah, it was the uh, posh Spice. Wow, she gets yeah, a lot of heat. 
She, she does, but she can't even sing, to be fair, you know? But you... well, she got David Beckham, but... She got well. What else she got? She got the best, I know. A she, doesn't of dollars, but... she doesn't care whether I like it or not. She's no, not She's, she's, she's going into her money. money. <laughs> yeah. it's like, now, this question... This question, this question can be easily adapted to which is the worst Kardashian, if you'd like to uh, amend your All of them. That assumes I know who they All are. Of them. I know. Oh, any I know of them. I, I'm the one that starts with, with K. K. There you go. I, I got to go with the mother because she gave birth to them all. Yeah. So the worst. yeah she's, <laughs> she may be the worst, right? She's like the, the dragon queen. The momager. Yeah. So what's, what's the new horizon for, for uh, Elixir? What's coming out next? A shiny new distillery. <laughs> well, well besides the distillery, I mean, what what can we get in the U.S.? What's the next big bottling that's coming out? Oh, we have all come. Is 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 yeah. there a winter? It's actually probably the rum. It's it's probably the oh. fifty year. The fiftieth. Oh, the fiftieth year black. Oh, the uh, black hot. Yeah, from uh, Black Hot Day, right? Is that uh, what they're? So that was the one that was blended on Black Hot Day. Fiftieth anniversary of Black Hot Day. Yeah. The elements of Isla are not available here. Correct. No. No, you, that you, needs to change. You may remember, Aaron, that uh, your old TTB doesn't like the old 500 mils of bottle. I know. So they, stupid. You can, yeah, you can get three liters of Bacardi, but somehow <laughs> 500 mils of delicious Isla whiskey is no and bueno since like 1987. Bells and whistles, yes. So. It's, oh, that reminds me. So we, uh, you guys have, are there rule changes for bars and restaurants due to COVID there? Yeah. Right? So you can like take away stuff, and so do you think? Are, has there been talk there of, of those kinds of rules staying permanent? What take, taken away like an off license? So here, yeah. So here, you a lot of bars here to help them stay in business. You could actually get cocktails to go mm -hmm. um, in various cities. Is that not a thing I there? I don't think we could do it in London. Or can least... there are some places that do? And is that because of COVID or because? Yeah, that was already oh. So, no, it's so to do with COVID. Yeah. Well, I I think I saw that New York and and there's outdoor seating for restaurants that wasn't available before. Like people are sitting in the middle of the road and yeah. you know, which is really safe. And um, there's no cars right now. It's so weird. I just saw a story here locally in LA. I think it was in Orange County, um, where a motorcycle ran through one of the barriers, and that for people that were sitting on the street eating. And it hit a couple people, and so there is a downside to that. The sitting in the street, you know, restaurant eating kind of thing. Um, but I you know, so. <laughs> there's also they're, they're keeping it in New York. No, I think I just saw that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yesterday I think they said that's going to be permanent. It looks super cool what they've done because they've just used the parking bays, right? From what yes. I can see, correct. They yeah. just take the the amount of parking uh, space on the street becomes like the segregated yeah, area for walk it off right right okay so you yeah. get to yeah. so you get to have that wonderful meal with exhaust from cars as you <laughs> well, are eating if you're lucky a bus you comes the by true because new york really... experience it is the yes. true new york experience it is. is what that is we have that here exactly. in los angeles too it's very very um <laughs> aromatic <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if, if they're allowing to carry out cocktails what does that do for someone who just wants scotch can I get like 12 ounces of scotch as a cocktail and just give me that that's not a thing can you, can you just fill a, a, t a container and I'll, I'll meet you outside you know? a doggy so, bag so, so we, ours has to be by a specific measure no. so it's only by 25 or 35 or multiple, oh no, or multiples thereof, actually. That's the, so that's you can, the, you, so you, you can do like two shots or three shots of something if you want to. Two and a half CL, three and a half CL, or multiples thereof. Oh, that's cool. Yes, you could have, I suppose, but I don't, I, I don't know anybody that's doing that, that's doing takeaway. Yeah, here, it's, here it's just cocktails, but the, yeah. um, depending on the state you're in, some states had closed the liquor stores <sighs> as non essential business um, and then realized maybe two months in that that was a terrible idea. And then reopen the liquor stores as essential yeah. business because people yeah. are very unhappy. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. The liquor stores are doing tons of trade, aren't yeah. they? It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been very strange, and we don't know really where this is all going to go.
And like yeah. Mike said, every state here is different. Yeah. And then every city has their own rules yeah. or every county has their own rules. So you could go from one city to another and you might have people sitting outside uh, on the street being able to eat and have alcohol. But in the next city over, you can't. Or one city you are allowed to have cocktails to go, but the next city over you can't. Yeah. It's and, and different for every state. But that's um, no different to your alcohol laws anyway. Your liquor laws are. That's right. It's all state based. It's just a random wheel. In, in just terms of it. like, if you can have you know bottles of booze in the boot of your car, in the trunk of your car, you know, like, and yeah. different counties allow that, and different counties don't. And Ultimately, they're all pretty stupid. And, yeah. Oh, oh, Sunday. Yeah. So let me go. You know, and oh. you forget in certain places. I, I know um, going to, I think it was Wisconsin. It was, I think it was Wisconsin, one of them. That you, like, I got my ass kicked yeah. in Wisconsin. And it, Sorry. each county was sort of changed. Or, you know, Don't closer you got to Madison, it was kind of like more party, you know. Closer you college, got to like college, college school. town. College town, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, you're allowed to do anything. And, yeah. um, or, the, or the cops look the other way. Yeah. 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 In Scotland, we can't buy alcohol after 10 p.m. Really? Has that yeah. always been the case? Or? Always? Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Huh. So in supermarkets or in off-licenses or booze shops, you can't buy alcohol after 10 p.m. Do they – so if you – but the store's open after 10, so if you brought it up to the brought it up to the counter, they would say you can't buy it? Huh. The, so the, the EPOS till won't, won't scan it. The till won't scan it. So wow. if you have a minute after 10 o'clock, the till won't scan. Oh. So if you're putting through lots of shopping at 5 to 10, you need to put your booze through first. <laughs> wow. That's pretty funny. Have, That's very good advice. For it? There do you, you have go. to pay for it first or do you have to just, you can just need to scan it first? I'm not sure actually. You might, have to, you might have to pay for it. I, I, I can't remember if you... <laughs> Yeah, My eye but... washes, it's 9.59. <laughs> no. I'm yeah. asking you the loopholes, Julia. <laughs> Honestly, you, you don't look for them because it's <coughs> not even worth it. So maybe it's, that's yeah. where whiskey hoarding is a good thing. That's right. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't if matter have, what time it is. It's, I've got whiskey right. o'clock. If five you have everywhere. to worry at 10 o'clock to get whiskey, you got a problem. It's 5 yeah. o'clock at Mike's house all the time. That's right. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because we have states here where you can't, like you said, you can't buy whiskey on Sunday. Or you can't buy alcohol on Sundays. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? And then there's some places like you guys have near you, a county that doesn't, or sit a town that you no can't. Alcohol at all. Yeah. There's no alcohol at all. Nope. And then wow. there are some places where you can't buy alcohol in a grocery store. Yeah. But you can, Jer but you have to Jersey's go to a liquor Jersey's got store. really strict spirits laws. Jersey. Yes. Jersey, yeah. I remember having quite, or like how you own or how, how things are done with um, stores. And, and so, Pennsylvania, our, our neighboring states, the same way. Oh, but, you, but that's a control no. state, isn't it? That you is have to state. Yeah, that's different. And, and Again, you have beer is sold in one place, and then nothing yeah. but beer is over here. And, you know, you had licenses so to buy a six pack of beer, but not a case. You can't sell a case, you only sell a six pack. So, Julie, Pennsylvania is like Scandinavia, where you have to put to tender to the government. Oh, okay. Right, okay. So, the Go government on. owns all the liquor stores. Isn't that Canadian uh, Canadian thing too, right? Ca Canada as right? well, yeah. Canada, Did you say Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Canada. It's make believe. Yeah. It's Narnia. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's really, not really, a it really exists. It's the 51st state. And then Texas is all together just weird because it's like four tiers where the bars have to buy it from the stores. Really? Oh. But you can bring a gun in. <laughs> but you can bring a gun yeah. with you. But guns are so, welcome. <laughs> which is a gun in the supermarket. It's, a, but it's really a balancing thing. Yeah, but you can't. But you can't buy, exactly. Can I buy? Can I buy a bottle of whiskey? But you can you buy can, a gun. You can. What's the age limit for buying a gun? Eighteen. Uh, it, it's, it's younger than it's younger than buying booze. I Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's like voting, voting. <laughs> makes no sense at all. <laughs> so, and, and also, the, the law applies to buying to the ownership of the gun, but you could then give that gun to someone underage, and they're allowed to use the gun. What? Or you could go hunting with your kids or something. Yeah, because your kid can use it. They can use the gun. Uh, this, like, this conversation's this gotten dicey. <laughs> and I'm out of whiskey. Oh, no. You have real problems, my friend. I know. I got bigger problems. Well, I have whiskey, oh, but I'm out of right. I'm out of these. That's okay. That's okay. There's more coming. It'll There's show up coming. one day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Absolutely. I, uh, yeah, just, like, the, the kind of last thing on it, it's, you can't buy it before 11 a.m. 
either. Oh, you so can't you go buy 10 p.m. to 11 after 11 a.m. before 10 p.m. Yeah. But there's so a separate rule. Only have 11, 11 hours to drink there. That's terrible to buy. To anyway. buy. Like to 11 buy. hours to buy. That's yeah, terrible. 24 hours wait, to wait. consume. That's terrible. So wait, does that mean that if you you go to a distillery and you do an early morning distillery tour, or not early morning, but a morning distillery tour, you can't buy, buy? I never noticed that. What? Yeah. Wait. So like, if you're there at 10 in the morning, you couldn't shop in the store in the so distillery weird. store. Huh. Well, no, they'll, take you, they'll take you down the tour for an hour. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That store is longer than store. unusual. <laughs> no, I still slowly <laughs> towards the shop. Like, <laughs> Julie, Julie <laughs> these rules don't apply to. Uh, there's an exception for Buckfast, right? Oh yeah, of course it is. <laughs> you can Buckfast whenever you want, right? <laughs> if you know, you know the right people. You can buy Buckfast anything. <laughs> what I those? never know those people. Who ever. are these people? <laughs> They're <laughs> called Neds. Neds. <laughs> Neds. Are they called Neds? Yeah. Neds, right? Neds. <laughs> yeah. I'd well, lady, yeah. ladies, this is we we've kept you a long time. We're not in the Springsteen territory, are we, uh, Angelo? No, nah, not quite. Are we like Billy Joel territory? We're in like Springsteen early seventies playing Asbury Park. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We're not like we're not into the three hour. You know, I have to go to the bathroom four times. He was <laughs> doing, he was doing <laughs> three hour orders. Got it. Right. So. But this has been great. This has been really this fun. A lot of fun. Thank, fun. You yeah. Thank you. Thank you both, so ladies. This was just just been great. We 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 love the Excel Excel Elixir, and we love Port Asking. <laughs> yes, certainly. I'm going to have to figure out how to get the camera to work. There you go, like that. Okay. And we, we wish you a lot of luck next week with your 24 hour a day Le Mans whiskey show thing. Feel free to join us anytime, you guys. Absolutely. Come, Come keep us company. Yeah. We will. We're gonna we're gonna kind of sneak in there and see what we can do while during during our work day, I think. Yeah. That'd be fun. In the, midst of it, my work day. the ticket was actually pretty cheap. It was like twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Yeah. So it's like forty bucks or so, right? Yeah. 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 Is that a nine day pass? Less than that. It's a nine day yeah. pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can yeah. go. I think every event is you can get into, right? There's no extra charges yeah, except, it's just unless you want to buy whiskey. whiskey. For it. Yeah. 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 If you want if you want whiskey to zip along with them, you have to buy the tasting packs. But if you're going to do that, you'll need to get them now. <laughs> yeah, you won't get them in time, right? Oh yeah. Isn't well, that considering um, we sent your you yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the point. But forty dollars, you're gonna get you can get a lot of really great information for forty bucks. Yeah. Absolutely. You're seeing like this yeah. amazing lineup of people. Yeah. Tons yeah, of absolutely. stuff, yeah, and absolutely. and Julie and Shell will be like you know like eighty of those hours. We will be eating party. <laughs> yeah, we will do it. Ninety-six <laughs> hours of Julie <laughs> and Chanel. <laughs> oh They'll be God, singing by done? the end. <laughs> They'll be tap dancing by day, by hour two. You'll get this. You'll get these faces every day. Oh my God! Fresh as a daisy. We'll, we should Fresh do before and after. Daisy. Uh, before and after photos, Julie. Do not forget the mute button and the power of it. <laughs> yes. Send them to the green room. That's right. Yes. You can send them all to the green room, like you Angelo see, yeah. does to us. Yeah, Angelo, you've taught me a lot today. No, <laughs> there's no way I would do that to Julie. Oh, he's been muted. He muted him. <laughs> <laughs> You're back. Uh, yeah. right, when then. we host when we host our own whiskey festival next year on Zoom, we'll have everyone muted forever. Exactly. We'll just take their money. Yeah. That's right. Take and their money. Buy your own, and buy your own damn whiskey. We could. You know what we do is we we host one and then we just farm it all out to Julie and Chanel to run. Oh, By that time, we'll be we'll be pros at this. Pros, we'll be, yeah. be pros. pros. We'll be pros. Yeah, absolutely. Are you pros. prepared for the spreadsheets? Like <laughs> that's all oh. I have to say. Yeah, we, live on, spreadsheets. we live on spreadsheets. I live on spreadsheets. I live on That's all we do in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> that was my middle name. That's right. It's that's color we coded. <laughs> it's formatting. <laughs> will, will it be colors? We like colors. Yes. We like cells that have colors <laughs> yeah. and graph. We need lots links? of graphs. <laughs> oh, embedded links. Oh, how exciting! That's gonna be my. That's this gonna be my next. Do you think this is an exciting chat for the people watching? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the the Maybe I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> <laughs> care. My my next distillery is gonna be called Embedded Links Distillery Company. <laughs> embedded, the embedded Links. links. Yeah. And the first I mean, bottling is gonna Scottish be rat's ass. <laughs> yeah, this kind of Scott, isn't it? 
Yeah. Embedded <laughs> links. Golfing gotta, links. Like, golf you know. thing, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely. Embedded <laughs> links to celery. Just a little bit. I like that. We'll be able to help you with merchandise for it because we're all over it with the space. <sighs> The, oh, we need brand. Stop. Our <laughs> biggest problem is branding. Oh, oh yeah, we I, need we need branding. You need to be branded. I need to be branded. You need to be branded. <laughs> Put a couple of irons in the fire. We'll That's take right. care of you, pal. Boom, Boom baby. All right, ladies, we kept you up all night. What time is it there? Four in the morning. I know. No. No. It's not even ten o'clock yet. No, not even 10 o'clock. Yeah. No, they are stuck so, inside till morning. They have, they well, have I got 14 minutes to run review. outside. <laughs> I got 14 <laughs> minutes to run outside and be like, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Saturday night, and then run back inside. Okay, so hang out in the green room for a couple seconds. We're going to close this out, and then we'll be we'll be right back. Just yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Just thanks, hang on thanks so much, guys. All right. Thank thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, ladies. Bye. Cheers. Hey, boys. That, was, that fun. was fun. That was great. That was very love, great show. We love the Elixir folks. They're so nice. They're cool. And yeah. while, while we mock you for your name dropping, this was a name we needed because mock, we mock wouldn't away. this otherwise. <laughs> mock, mock, yeah. mock, mock, mock. It was all good. It was all good. And I love this. I like this. I like this whiskey. It's well, delicious. You know, the poor ass <laughs> gig is so cool because, well, we like Kalila, right? So yep. it's just like uh, a. Do you like the one Ted better than the Springer Autumn? Or just they're two different. You really can't compare. So I really, you know, I've had the eight. I actually have a bottle of the eight. The eight is really good. Yeah. It's and I really, I kind of like it, almost better than the one ten, which is kind of weird for me to say. But um, the the twelve, I don't know how your your twelve was different than mine. It was really good too. This oh. spring edition, I guess it's called. Yeah. You guys have the autumn one. Yeah, the autumn. The autumn. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're they all three of these are Clela, right? Yeah, I, I think so. That? Yeah, I believe so. Um, they definitely have that Kalila influence. I think. Hey, all of them. you know, I could see them back there. I think Chanel just gave you the finger. Um, not <laughs> it, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> so they were great. They were really fun. And thank you for them coming in and staying up yeah, late. And, and, yeah, sure. Because it's all of like almost two o'clock here where I am. Spending oh, their boy. Saturday. Yep. So thank you to the ladies and Elixir and for the samples. And, um, Let's take us out of here, Angela. Yeah, Let's roll the credit. Go buy it. All right, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.